Hello, my name is Rachel and I love shopping. And this morning I actually stayed up long enough so I could go to TJ Maxx, which is something I haven't done in months. And I, I just, I, I went for, uh, to get some sugar-free syrups for coffee. <laughs> uh, and, and I wound up, of course, buying a bunch of other things. Now, none of this stuff is super exciting, but Doing hauls and showing it to you guys is how I uh, justify spending uh, money I don't need to spend to myself. <laughs> so you guys are going to get to see it anyway. <laughs> uh, they did have, they had several things I did resist buying. They had a bunch of really awesome Betsy Johnson jewelry, uh, but I, I try not to buy jewelry because as you guys know, I make jewelry. <laughs> so I have so much everywhere. And this, this necklace is available on my Etsy. If you want to go check out my Etsy, that'll be uh, listed down in the description box below. <laughs> but so I try not to buy jewelry. So I did not buy the jewelry and I, I, I already kind of regret it. There were some, they had some really cute Betsy Johnson. Uh, there were these little black snakes with rainbow stones in them that were so cute. And then this other pair of like lavender purple with iridescent stone dangly snake earrings. It had like two parts where the tail dangled down the back. Oh, I, I regret not getting them. They had a really cute little sugar skull necklace, Betsy Johnson, but I don't need any of that. So I didn't get any of that. And they also had this adorable little uh, gunmetal purse with studs, not Betsy Johnson, just some random brand, but it was just so cute, but I still didn't get it because I don't need purses. <laughs> but I still bought a bunch of stuff I didn't need. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you that now. <laughs> so like I said, I did go to get syrups for coffee. And uh, these are the, the skinny syrups, sugar-free. And this is the three pack. Normally I get like one of the big bottles, but when I saw this three pack, I thought it was perfect because I was having problems deciding which flavor to get. And this has mocha, vanilla, and salted caramel in it. I've been on a iced coffee kick here recently. So, and I was almost out of my, my syrup for, for my coffees. And then this is not for coffee but a total impulse purchase, also by Skinny Stirrups. This is the Flower Infusion Trio. And this includes the Strawberry Rose, Blueberry Lavender, and Lemon Elderflower sugar-free syrups. And I'm not even sure how I'm going to use these. Maybe in teas? I, I don't know. If you, if you have some good ideas of how to use these you know, flower and fruit flavored syrups, please let me know down in, in the comment section below because I didn't have any plan when I bought them. I just impost bought them because these all sound awesome. Strawberry rose, blueberry lavender, um, lemon elderberry or elderflower, lemon elderflower. I mean, they just sound so unique and interesting. So I totally fell for them. And and these were only $6.99, like both of them. The coffee ones were also only $6.99. So I thought that was a pretty good price for the three bottles, three flavors. But yeah, let me know down below if you have any good tips on how to use these floral ones. And of course, because I'm on that coffee kick, I had to get coffee. <laughs> right now, I think I just have some instant coffee, but I do have a little French press so I can easily brew a cup of real coffee. So I bought this salted caramel coffee and this was $5.99, which I don't buy coffee often, so I have no idea if that's a great price for this or not, but it seemed reasonable and sounds good. And of course, we'll go great with any of these three syrups, vanilla, more caramel, mocha. And then I totally impulse shopped from the clearance little end cap. <laughs> more coffee. <laughs> this is the Holiday Armadillo. <laughs> I, I don't know, <laughs> but it's a fully roasted chalk hazelnut coffee. So like a chocolate hazelnut coffee. So that sounded good and it was only $3. So I thought, why not give that a try? And then I went over to, like, I wasn't going to buy any clothes, but I was in the, the pajama section and on clearance for $16, regularly $20. It's this set of three and it's two pair, this is attached here, but it's two pair of just little sleep shorts and they have pockets. I'm all about the pockets. Pockets are important, but two pair of little sleep shorts and just those floral camouflage or not floral but pink camouflage and just gray and then also included a pair of you know jogger sleep pants 
also with pockets but I'm all about that lounge wear when I'm at home I'm usually in some sort of lounge wear and now that it's like 90 degrees every day I've been lounging in sleep shorts instead of my normal pajama pants <laughs> oh and then I found I almost forgot about these <laughs> since my hair has been getting longer and I've been wearing headbands a lot more uh, it's just this was six dollars and it's four super sparkly headbands so one out of here and see how this works. And I thought the the pinks and the the rainbow and the black, <laughs> of course black, but like and the iridescent would go good with my pink and purple hair. So I thought these were really cute. I just love the ease of a headband uh, to get the hair out of my face when it's you know again all warm. I've I'm, I think I'm growing my hair out. I apparently I'm, I'm not sh shaving it again, although I am with the really hot weather. I have been tempted to do my undercut again, <laughs> but I kind of feel like I'm growing it out now. So I'll see where that leads. I might one day just break down and shave all that underneath off anyway, but for now, headbands. <laughs> so I thought those were cute and, you know, four headbands for $6. I think that was totally worth it. And then the final thing I, I purchased, I have never tried shapewear before and, and I keep getting these clingy dresses where I'm like, well, maybe if I just added some shapewear, I would be comfortable because, I mean, we all have our insecurities. For me, it's my midsection. Like, I don't mind my really big hips. I'm perfectly fine with big hips, you know, and, and chunky thighs, all that's fine with me, but I, I just hate my midsection. So I thought, let's try shapewear and see if that actually works. So it was just this two pack and they also double as you guys know I love to wear those bloomer shorts underneath all my dresses to prevent any sort of thigh chafing <laughs> and these do that as well because they do go down the thigh so I'm really interested to see how these will actually work uh, it was the two pair a nude pair and a black pair for only $13 so I didn't invest a lot in it so if it doesn't work out for me I didn't you know I didn't lose out on a lot. <laughs> I did however make a possible mistake. I purchased these in a size large and it's possible I really should have gotten the extra large. But I don't know. We'll find out I guess. I will be giving these a try at some point and we'll see how they work. So I did want to try the shapewear on for you uh, because it's my first time ever trying shapewear and I want to try it and give you my opinion. But I wanted to give you a before picture that uh so we would have something to compare to so this this dress is like a perfect thing that i would want this sort of garment with because you can see it's a really thin material and a little bit clingy so you can see like all the lines of my belly button and and my you know less than flattering midsection give you some angles here and then I'm gonna go put the shapewear on and we will see if it improves anything. All right, so I finally struggled into them and boy, they were not easy to get on. I, I guess that makes sense, you know, because if it's gonna be tight, it can't be, you know, loose getting it on. <laughs> but that was a struggle. Might also be because I really should have bought the extra large and I bought the large, but they did still fit. I, however, would not be able to really wear them with this particular dress because the shorts are too long. They go too far down. Then, I mean, I guess I could still wear that. That's, it would just look like I'm wearing shorts with, uh, you know, tunic or something. But as far as function goes, I think it does work. I think I do look smoother. Although I feel like it might be flattening out my bum a little bit. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it is compressing, so that would make sense, but that's the one part you don't want flattened out, right? <laughs> but I don't know. Plus, because they are so hard to get up, these would be terrible for like going out and having drinks because you would be fighting with them every time you went to the bathroom. That would just be horrible. And, and I don't know about you guys, but when I have drinks, I'm in the bathroom like every 20 minutes. <laughs> I know that's terrible, but I just, I guess I just can't hold my alcohol. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm not convinced. I mean, I would possibly wear them just to take some photos in a dress that needed them. Um, but I, I'm not sure I would actually wear them out 
just because it seems like it would be way too much of a hassle. But let me uh, know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think that it makes enough of a difference to be worth it? But let me know. <laughs> so that was my TJ Maxx unnecessary haul. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below. <laughs> and please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we are living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.